the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 83, Judges 10 to 12. Mispronunciation. The leaders appointed during the era of judges neglected reforming the people with the law of God and came short of God's expectation. First point, the leaders of a kingdom of priests had varying personal statements. The CV of the first leader of Israel, Moses, can be found in Numbers 16 verse 15. As he said, Moses did not take a single donkey during his time as leader. But to compare this with the CV of a judge called there, he records the following. He had 30 sons who rode donkeys. They controlled 30 towns in Gilead, which to this day are called Haboth Jair. Comparing Jair's CV to Moses' CV, indeed, it would be an understatement to say that he was a disappointment. But there was a judge who was from Gilead and was acknowledged as a mighty warrior. He knew about the historical background of Israel enough to criticize the fault of Ammon. His name was Jephthah, and with God's strength, he was able to deliver Israel from the descendants of Ammon. However, he was unable to deliver them from committing sins against God. Judge Jephthah made a stupid commitment that if they won the war, he would sacrifice the first thing that comes out the door as a burnt offering. Due to this, he had to sacrifice his one and only daughter. Second point, Jephthah managed to correct the mistakes of the Ammon descendants. The descendants of Ammon at the time claimed that the land east to the Jordan was theirs. The tribes of Reuben, God, and the half-tribe of Manasseh were living there, but the Ammonites continued to claim that it was their land. At this, Jephthah set the facts straight historically and tried to convince the Ammonites. He started his speech by saying, Moses sent messengers from Kadesh to the king of Edom, saying, this is what your brother Israel says. You know about all the hardships that have come on us. As such, Jephthah was able to set the record straight with historical evidence. Third point, if the Israelites failed to keep the three annual festivals, they had to face much grief. To Jephthah, who delivered the people from the hands of Ammon, the tribe of Ephraim once again complained. The first record of the tribe of Ephraim complaining can be found in Judges 8 verse 1. However, different to Gideon, Jephthah was unable to solve this situation and later turned things into an internal fight which left behind a lot of anger and resentment within the community. If the twelve tribes had gathered three times a year to keep the festivals of a kingdom of priests, such small issues would not have turned into big problems. Fourth point, the laws in a kingdom of priests had to always be near the heart and mouth. When the tribe of Ephraim came to Jephthah to complain at first, Jephthah tried to persuade them. However, reconciliation proved to be difficult and it led to the tribe of Ephraim insulting Gilead, which was the hometown of Jephthah. At this, Jephthah 
fumed in anger and gathered the people to Gilead to fight. And so the tribe of Ephraim ran away. Jephthah and the people of Gilead distinguished those who were and were not from the tribe of Ephraim by hearing whether they said Shiboleth or Shiboleth. With this, they killed 42,000 people from the tribe of Ephraim. To trace back historically during the days of Joshua, there was an instant between the two and the half tribes and the last of the nine tribes, which almost led to a misunderstanding. Unfortunately, Jephthah was unable to leave it as a misunderstanding and ended up killing 42,000 people. This shows that the Israelites had weakened the meaning and the practice of a kingdom of priests. If the people from the era of judges had listened to the words of Moses, then they may have had more mercy and understanding for one another. Fifth point, if son, a judge from Bethlehem, also had a disappointing CV. The next leader after Jephthah was Ibsan. After him, Ibsan of Bethlehem led Israel. He had 30 sons and 30 daughters. He gave his daughters away in marriage to those outside his clan. And for his sons, he brought in 30 young women and wives from outside his clan. Ibsan led Israel seven years. As can be seen, the majority of judges did not put in their all towards serving a kingdom of priests and left behind the most disappointing CVs. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.